Hey everyone, in this video I'll walk you through the setup of the two most impactful automated workflows. There are plenty of different workflows to choose from, but the welcome and the abandoned card together bring in more than 50% of all automated email conversions. So those two are the ones that we're going to focus on in this video. Now you may be thinking that automations are minor and you don't need to focus on that. But our new statistics for the first half of 2023 show that automations make up nearly 47% of all email orders, but only 2.6% of sends. This means they're really important and don't take too much effort to set up. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we are in the Omnison dashboard. Let's go to the automation section, create workflow. So here we have a bunch of pre-built automation workflows, but today we're going to focus on the welcome workflow. And welcome workflow usually has a, a typical range of one to three emails, but for this one, we're going to select one and then create a couple more just to show you how it works. So here it is, the welcome automation. Of course, you can filter out the pre-built automations on the left here, but we're just going to select the welcome one. All right, so don't get intimidated by what you see. The process here is pretty straightforward. So the workflow starts from the bottom and goes down to the very exit. And you can add a bunch of steps in, mid in the middle of these steps. So here we can press the trigger and I'm gonna explain what the trigger is. So a trigger is basically the condition that determines that the customer hops into this specific automation. Basically, why is he getting inside of it? So in this case, this is the welcome automation. So people, the, so the trigger is the sign up. If the person signs up for your newsletter or your discount or whatever, this is what they're going to get. They enter this workflow. And so there are also exit conditions. In this case, if the workflow ends, of course, there is an exit condition as well. So another condition is if the person places an order, they also exit this workflow. They no longer receive the rest of it. All right, so let's leave this menu now and I'm gonna explain what we see here on the left. So these are essentially the elements that you can add to this specific automation. So the wait is essentially how long does it take to go from one step to the other. So in this case, it is one minute. So in this case, the person signs up and then the automation waits for one minute and then an email is sent out into their inbox. Now an email is pretty self-explanatory, it sends an email. So let's hop into this one and see what it's all about. Now this is where you can edit the email that you're going to send. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's pretty short and it's on, on point, which is exactly what it should be because you don't wanna waste too much of your customer's time on your first email. You can get away with it in the later, the second or the maybe the third email. And I'm gonna give you ideas for what you can include in those a bit later. But for this one, if you're including a discount, that's more than enough. And regarding the discounts, as you can see, we'll generate a discount code for this email automatically, which means that there is no need to enter anything manually, no need to go to your WooCommerce store admin and create the coupon manually. It's just gonna be done automatically. Now, I will mention that this only works for Shopify, WooCommerce, and BigCommerce stores only. Otherwise, you would need to create a manual one. We will include a link on how to do it on each and every e-commerce store in the description below. All right, so let's finish editing this. This looks pretty good in my opinion. And let's add a couple more. All right, so we have finally finished the whole workflow. Of course, it's not finished completely because we still need to include the email content in the, each of these emails, but that is pretty much the basic template that you can have. So customer signs up, wait for one minute, send the discount, wait for one to two days, and then send the next email, wait for two to three days and send the last email. Now let's talk about the ideas that we can include in these specific emails. Here are some ideas of what you can focus on for the content for these emails. Number one, you can talk about the benefits of shopping with you versus the competitors. Number two, you can go full storyteller mode and tell them all about how your brand got started, the vision that you still carry from day one until now. And number three, you can talk about anything that makes your brand unique. Maybe you've got unique quality standards or you're sustainable for the environment and you're doing good for our planet. Anything like that will be good for the second email. And then finally, two to three days after that second email, we're going to send them the final third one. This one's very flexible. Here are some ideas of what you can make this one about. Number one, 
focus on the community element and talk all about your community, your followers and how awesome they are and invite them to be the part of it. Number two, let's get social. Invite them to follow you on Instagram, Facebook, X, formerly known as Twitter, etc. Number three, and this one's probably my favorite, social proof. Real people talking about how great your products are. This one's huge because it helps build trust and lack of trust is the number one reason why people don't buy. And finally, number four, if you've got a blog or a YouTube channel, this is an amazing opportunity to promote that content. And it also makes the process of creating this email really, really easy. Just copy and paste that YouTube thumbnail into the email and you're almost good to go. Or use the video feature from the library. All right, so let's get back to the welcome workflow that we're creating. So I forgot to mention that if you are collecting SMS subscribers, you can also include an SMS in the automation. Now, of course, if the person does not have a phone number associated with that account, it's not gonna get it. This will only count to people that are subscribed via SMS. So if you drag and drop this block over here into the workflow, you can add it in any place at all. The first one is a bit more generous. If you want to add it at the very last step, you can do that as well. This will cost you a little bit more. So configuring the SMS is pretty easy. Of course, I have this uh, message right here because I don't have my number verified. If you do, you're not gonna have this, but you just fill out this info here and you proceed with starting the workflow. Right now, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to do that because I'm still missing some of the info. So now let's create an abandoned cart automation. So let's save and close this one. Let's click here. And we have the abandoned cart right over here. So let's click here. So the workflow here is pretty simple. It's pretty much the same as the welcome workflow, except all the info is filled out differently. Of course, the trigger and the exit conditions are different as well. So we'll take a look over here and we have the trigger added product to cart. And we also have a tri trigger filter, trigger and activity time, one hour. So if the cart is not updated for one hour, they will get sent this first email. And after that, we get two more of those. And the exit conditions are if the order is placed, they leave this workflow and they do not get any more email notifications. All right, so let's check out the first email that we're going to send. So this is the email that is going to be sent one hour or it usually varies between one and two hours after the customer leaves the cart without proceeding to checkout. So if we take, take a look at the content of this email, you can see the product images here, and this is essentially a product listing. Now, if you, if you can see here, product details will be filled from the cart automatically. So even though you see it like this, when the customer receives the email, they will see their own cart in this specific email. And it should, also be pretty short maybe something like lost and found calling have you seen these items are these yours something like that so you can be short pretty witty and then of course include the button in here to make the process a bit easier for the customer so if we go back to finish editing and we can check out the rest of these emails now personally i like to have maybe two emails over here instead of three so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of this one delete that, delete this one, and I'm going to extend the wait period to about 24 hours. So the person receives this email first, and after 24 hours, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a nudge. All right, so let's jump into the second email and take a look at what's inside. So in this one, we also mentioned a little bit something funny about like, uh, here's a reminder not to find yourself thinking I should have bought it when I could and here is a 50% off the purchase so you can change that you can change your approach but having a little bit of a extra push by giving them a discount is generally a pretty consistently good idea so this email also has the product listing which is going to be filled in automatically so the person can see what's inside their card now the second email usually goes out 24 to maybe 48 hours after that. So it's really up to you, but I'm gonna keep it at 24 hours. So if we take a look over here on the left, you can see a bunch of these elements that we have not used yet. If you want to get fancy about it, you can read more about them in the link in the description below. As you can see, creating your own automations is really simple and flexible. Now that we have the two most impactful automated workflows enabled, 
All we have to do is monitor the performance to see if we've done a great job or if it needs some improvement. For both the welcome and the abandoned cart emails, you want to be seeing at least a 30% open rate and around a 5% click rate. If you're seeing a little bit below those numbers, see if you can find some way to improve. Maybe it's the subject lines, maybe it's the content. And if your results are around or above those numbers, then you're doing a great job. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully soon you're going to have your own welcome and abandoned cart automated workflows running and I'll see you next time. Bye.